everyone, welcome to another quick tip video for SimonSaysStamp.com. Today we're going to be talking about card bases, and a card base is basically the cardstock you have before you start decorating it and making the cards your own. So I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to get the beginning of your card. So the first thing you're going to do is you cut down your letter sheet of paper, or if you're somewhere else in the world where you use A2 paper, you'd cut down your A2 paper. Just cut it in half and then you can make two cards out of that. I'm going to show you three different ways to score and fold your card. The first one is with you know just really basic tools, just a ruler and a pencil. So I'm using a T-square ruler, but I'm just going to ignore this end and pretend I've just got the ruler right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in, you're going to measure halfway. Now I'm offsetting this by an inch so I don't get that end there. So I'm going to come over to, let's see, half would be four and a quarter, so I'm going to come to five and a quarter and I'm making just a little tick mark right there. And I'll do the same up here, coming to five and a quarter. And then I take my ruler and I line it up between those two tick marks. And then I'm taking a bone folder and I'm just pressing into the cardstock. And that's going to score it. That allows me to fold the card very easily. All right, so there's one method. Another method is to use a T square ruler. With a T square ruler, you only have to make one measurement. Gonna bring it in on the side here and measure at four and a quarter, because that's half. And then I'm gonna use the ruler, butt it up against that end. That's gonna make sure that my line is perpendicular. And then I can just fold that in half. And there's another way to score and fold your card. The last way is actually my favorite because it is so fast, and that is using the Martha Stewart Craft scoring board. Let's bring it up here at the top. I'm going to use a stylus because the bone folder tends to be a little bit too sharp, the bone folder that comes with it. Come right here to four and a quarter, and I'll pull down, fold my card, and we're done. So this way there's no like pre-measuring and making a tick mark because you're going to measure along the top edge and then run your bone folder or your stylus down vertically. Alright, so those are three different ways to fold and score your card. So the T-square ruler is a really great tool. I would recommend it. Here you go, you can see a little more of it now. I really recommend it. It's a great tool to have on hand, even if you're not going to be using it to score and fold your cards. So that's the tip for today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time.